in this comprehension position of a particle is given by x equal to 2 into t minus t square where t is expressed in second and x is in meter positive direction is towards right now in the first question the acceleration of the particle has to be found so x is given to be x is given to be twice of t minus t square so speed dx by dt is equal to 2 minus 4t and acceleration is equal to dv by dt is equal to minus 4 so acceleration of the particle is minus 4 meter per second square c option is correct now maximum value of position coordinate of the particle in positive x-axis particle will continue to move along positive x-axis till the moment its velocity do not become zero so velocity is equal to zero at 2 minus 4 t is equal to zero this gives t is equal to 2 by 4 second or half second so at a half second velocity becomes zero and within that half second distance traveled in half second is equal to twice of half minus half square that is twice of half minus 1 by 4 that is 2 into 1 by 4 or a half meter so maximum distance along positive x-axis is a half meter so for second question c is the correct option that is half meter now the third question says the particle never goes to negative x-axis negative go, neg never goes to positive x-axis starts from origin then goes up to x equal to half in positive x-axis then goes left and final velocity of the particle is zero as particle continue to accelerate with minus 4 meter per second so it starts from origin go towards positive x-axis by half meter and because of acceleration in opposite direction it starts moving towards negative direction and can continue to go along negative x-axis so for third question C option is correct now the total distance traveled by the particle from t equal to 0 to t equal to 1 second so for t equal to 0 to t equal to half second from 0 to half second it moves half meter rightward and in the next half second that is half to one second it moves half meter leftward so total distance traveled in one second is half meter plus half meter that is equal to one meter so during this interval zero to one second distance traveled by the particle is one meter and correct option is b